Hey guys, this is Chris. I want to make another uh, depression video. I haven't made one in a really long time. So I want to say that, yes, I'm still making depression videos. It's just that I haven't been depressed lately. So I really haven't had anything to talk about. But recently, uh, PewDiePie and a bunch of other kind of YouTubers and like big YouTubers have been making videos about forced positivity. And I kind of wanted to relate that to depression and mental health. They, they obviously make their videos as entertainment. So they have to kind of portray themselves as a happy character all the time for their fans and for their subscribers while like I if I don't upload videos it's because I just don't feel like it like I'm not a huge youtuber so I don't really care uh, you know if I don't feel like uploading a video I'm not gonna upload a video I don't do this full-time for money so I don't have to do it but uh, anyway when it comes to depression like I just wanted to make this quick point because I think it's important uh, for people with depression to kind of understand this and it took me a while to understand and figure it out too. Um, but basically, quick, my story, um, I had a job where I had to basically be forced, have this forced positivity. And uh, it really, like, it sucks the soul out of you, basically, because you're basically just, like, being fake for the entire day. You're being fake for your coworkers, you're being fake for whether it's your clients or your, you know, whoever your, whatever your job is, you have to like be someone you're not. Like you have to leave your feelings and emotions and your problems at home. And you have to be this person that, you, you know, you may not feel like being all the time. And if you're always forcing yourself to be happy at work or uh, at home or whatever, um, you know that's gonna take a toll on you like it did for me like I was forcing myself to be happy all the time because I had to in order for me to perform at my job and then I wasn't able to like all of this sadness and anger and all these other feelings started building up and I couldn't I didn't know how to like let these feelings out uh, I couldn't bring them out at work for obvious reasons because it would affect my performance and you know you don't want to be the one at work who drags everyone down you know um, or, uh, you know, because that could hurt your performance or, you know, it could strain a relationship with a coworker or a client or whatever your job is. Uh, and so it's very unhealthy to uh, to honestly be like a forced positivity like all the time. Like it's just not natural. People aren't happy all the time. Like no matter if you're a billionaire or if you're whatever, uh, a famous celebrity, you're not happy all the time. There's always something that you know makes you sad you know we're human we feel the full range of emotions from happiness to sadness and people with depression are just more predisposed to feeling sad than happy but uh anyway with people with depression i feel like we may need to like uh force this positivity just to like appease our friends and family uh, a little bit more or maybe even for ourselves to say like oh I'm doing okay look how happy I am uh, because if we're not if we're not happy all the time if we're not positive or feeling good then that can be kind of translated as like oh you're not you know your depression is taking over you're not feeling good you're you know you're slipping back into a depression uh, stuff like that and honestly that's just like so annoying I don't know if you guys have ever had this experience but like sometimes I just like to sit on the couch and do nothing it's not because I'm depressed it's just because I'm just having an okay day I'm not happy I'm not sad it's just I'm okay you know and I think that's perfectly fine you know having an okay day is okay you know it's it's normal uh but you know I think in like this day and age you can log on to like your YouTube subscriptions or you can log on to Facebook or Instagram or whatever and you see people posting videos where they're all super excited and screaming and happy and you go on YouTube or uh, go on uh, Instagram and Facebook and you see people posting pictures when they're on holiday or visiting uh, country or whatever you know and they're posting pictures with their friends and they're so happy uh, and it kind of gives you like that false sense of not security but that false sense of happiness like oh look at how happy all of these people are like my life sucks when in reality like honestly social media is just like a 
I don't even, it's just like the greatest hits of happiness. Like, it's just a way for people to show, I don't know, like how happy they are, I guess. Like, you never really see, unless someone dies in their family, like, you never see anyone post themselves, like, crying or without makeup or, you know, like, not, you know, not looking the best for camera, I guess. Uh, you know, like, there's a, it's like a facade, like, it's a, it's like a fake kind of thing. Like, you don't see the real person through social media. Uh, social media, that is. Uh, or even on YouTube, for that matter. You know, a lot of popular YouTubers will just, like, act happy all the time over, like, some of the dumbest things ever. Like, they force themselves, like, uh, uh, for example, like, when PewDiePie was talking about, like, him playing some video games. Like, he was forcing himself to play these games that he didn't like. Uh, and it was just like, why? Why would you do that to yourself? Like... I know that he kind of does that full time, but for you know his job. But if you don't enjoy something, don't do it. Like if it's this that easy, you know. Uh, and well, you know it's easy for me to say. I know some people can't like just quit their jobs tomorrow because they don't like it. You know that's kind of unrealistic. But um, you know it may get to the point where it's just like, what do you value more? Like do you do you want to? be happy or do you want to want to truly be happy or do you want to just like continue faking it until you make it and I think that faking it until you make it is just so unhealthy especially for people with depression because you need to not bottle up your feelings and fake it all the time like you need to feel sad like it's okay to feel sad it's okay to feel depressed every once in a while it's okay to feel happy it's okay to cry or be angry or agitated or whatever you know it's it's just normal that's we're humans like that's how we feel you can't suppress those feelings and i think it's just it's a sad thing where in society we have to basically i don't know like not like play a character but we have to always force ourselves to be happy you know it's just it's not natural man it's just not it's not good it's not good at all so uh yeah i just kind of wanted to make my thoughts a video about my thoughts on this topic because it's something that it did affect me in the past uh, now it's not so much because I basically just do whatever like I don't surround my, myself with people who I don't know like are always happy and stuff like that like I w went ahead and deleted like over over three-fourths of my friends on Facebook because it's just like I never talked to you and you know all this stuff that you post is just like it's not real like you can tell you can tell pretty quick like who's fake and who's not you know if if you're used to going on social media and stuff like that but uh anyway yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video sorry for not producing more depression videos like i said i haven't felt depressed so uh it's kind of hard for me to think about a topic that i could talk about when i'm not feeling depressed but uh i did watch this pewdiepie video and some of the other youtubers that i follow have talked about it so i kind of thought it, I could relate to it a little bit and maybe it helped you guys out a little bit as well. So uh, yeah, in the comments below, just like leave a comment if you've ever like, I don't know, if you're at a job or something. For me, it's like jobs. Uh, if, you're, if you're at a job or if you ever had a job like where you have to be like, I don't know, positive all the time. Like it's just annoying. For me, it's annoying anyway. Uh, because yeah, it just sucks up so much of my energy. Maybe it's because I'm an introvert too, but I just, uh, just can't do it. You know, it's just... It's just not natural. Not It's not human nature to always be happy. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you did. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.